I've chosen Sky Chasers, written by the author Emma Carroll. It's one of my favourite stories because it's all about the Montgolfier brothers and the invention of a hot air balloon. I'm flying. Time and again I've looked up at the sky and wished myself there, or envied pigeons pecking in the gutter for being able, with a flap of their wings, to escape the filthy streets. And now it's happening to me. I feel lighter, like my body doesn't matter. For once I'm not cold or hungry, I'm brave and strong and alive. The world from up here looks different too, like a toy shop window, or as if a magic spell has been cast across the land. Everything's smaller, sweeter. Cows in the fields are little bits of china. The river flowing out of town is mirrored glass. Passing over prickly looking treetops makes me think of artichokes. And I'm a bird looking down on it all, wondering if I'll ever grow bored of a view. I don't get the chance. The wind drops suddenly. What? Seconds ago with a plump shape above my head now collapses with speed. The trees loom closer. Within moments, my feet touch the topmost branches. The bag flops, lifeless beside me. The branches creak at my weight. Something beneath me snaps, and down I go. I fall slowly, like a feather, only nowhere near as graceful because my hair, clothes, skin snag and tear as I drop through the branches. I hit the ground with an almighty thud. The air wishes from my chest. Everything feels wrong. I don't know what part of me to move first. When I try to sit up, my left shoulder makes a crunching, popping sound. I don't scream, but I feel a cold, shivery sweat breaking out across my back. Above me, the trees are curving inwards. It gets darker. The last thing I see are two sets of white stockinged legs running towards me.